بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم تحریم ذوالفقار ہیئر از دی گروپ سکس پریزنٹیشن آف کمپیوٹر سبمیٹڈ ٹو ڈاکٹر ذیشان یوسف پریزنٹیڈ بائی گروپ سکس دا کنٹینٹس آف مائی پریزنٹیشن آر سسٹم سافٹ ویئر آپریٹنگ سسٹم آپریٹنگ سسٹم فنکشن ٹائپس آف آپریٹنگ سسٹم فسٹلی وی ول ڈسکس سسٹم سافٹ ویئر سسٹم سافٹ ویئر از کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئر ڈیزائن ٹو آپریٹ اینڈ کنٹرول دی کمپیوٹر ہارڈ ویئر اینڈ ٹو پرووائڈ اے پلیٹ فارم فار رننگ ایپلیکیشن سافٹ ویئر سسٹم سافٹ ویئر ایک ایسا سافٹ ویئر ہوتا ہے جو کمپیوٹر ہارڈ ویئر کو ہارڈ ویئر ریسورس کو کنٹرول کرنے کے لیے اینڈ آپریٹ کرنے کے لیے ڈیزائن کیا جاتا ہے اور ایپلیکیشن سافٹ ویئر کو چلانے کے لیے پلیٹ فارم مہیا کرتا ہے بس فار ایگزامپل اگر ہم ایک اسکول کے ایگزامپل لیں اسکول میں ایک پرنسپل ہوتا ہے جو اسکول کو چلانتا ہے جو اسکول کو مینیج کرتا ہے کنٹرول کرتا ہے اس کے پرنسپل کے بنا اسکول ورک نہیں کر سکتا اسی طرح کمپیوٹر سسٹم کو چلانے کے لیے مینیج کرنے کے لیے کنٹرول کرنے کے لیے اس کے فنکشن کے لیے سسٹم سافٹ ویئر کی ضرورت ہوتی ہے سسٹم سافٹ ویئر سافٹ ویئر ریکوائر ٹو رن دی ہارڈ ویئر پارٹس آف دا کمپیوٹر اینڈ ادر ایپلیکیشن سافٹ ویئر ایکٹ ایز انٹر فیس بٹوین ہارڈ ویئر اینڈ یوزر ایپلیکیشنز انٹرفیس از نیڈیڈ بیکاز ہارڈ ویئر ڈیوائسز اور مشینز اینڈ ہیومن اسپیس ان اسپیک ان ڈفرنٹ لینگویج انگلش از دی پری ڈومیننٹ لینگویج آف انٹریکٹنگ ود کمپیوٹرس سسٹم سافٹ ویئر کنورٹس آل ہیومن انسٹرکشنز ان ٹو مشین انڈرسٹینڈیبل انسٹرکشنز سسٹم سافٹ ویئر از دی انٹرفیس بٹوین ہارڈ ویئر پارٹس آف کمپیوٹر اینڈ دا یوزر لائک یو اینڈ می Why this interface is required? Because we speak in language, language called English or you could be speaking some other language. But the machine understands, the computer understands only one language, which is binary language, zeros and ones. Now, if I'm speaking in English and the computer does not understand English, then what is to be done? Interpreter is required. The interface is required. System software act as an interface. It converts all the instructions, the instructions that we are giving in English into a machine understandable form. The some examples of system software are MS Windows, Android, Linux, etc. There are different types of system software. There are four, four types of system software. Operating system, device driver, language processor, utility programs. Firstly, we will discuss operating system. System software responsible for functioning of all hardware parts and their interoperability to carry out tasks successfully. First software, first software to be loaded into computer memory. Manages a computer's basic functions like storing data in memory, retrieving files from storage devices, scheduling tasks based on priority etc. As you know, a computer has a CPU. It has a keyboard, mouse, printer. Operating system is required so that these hardware parts can function properly. They can follow our instructions. Operating system is always the first software that is loaded into the system when we switch on our computer. So operating system is very very important. If your system does not have operating system, it will not work because operating system manages the memory, the processor, the speed with which it will work, the file and many other different tasks. The second is the device driver. System software that controls and monitors functioning of a specific device on computer. Each device that needs to be attached externally to the system has a specific driver associated with it. When you attach new device, you need to install its drivers so that operating system knows how it needs to be managed. 
the device drivers will take care of all the devices which are attached to the computer so that these devices function properly like the printer or the fax machine that is attached operating system is the software that handles all the devices so what what does the device driver do operating system will interact with the device drivers so that these devices will work properly when you attach a new device you will you will need to install its driver so that the operating system will know that whom that device is to be managed whenever the user sends the request for example mouse ko mouse ek app mouse ko jab hum attach karte hain computer ke sath ise application software ke sath connect karne ke liye darmiyan mein zarurat padti hai device driver ki एक छोटा सा सॉफ्टवेयर है जो इस माउस से रिलेटेड होता है जिसमें वो तमाम फंक्शंस होते हैं जो इस माउस के हार्डवेयर को कंट्रोल करते हैं ये माउस को चलाने में इसकी मदद करता है माउस इसकी फंक्शनिंग के लिए साथ मदद करता है इसके बगैर वो डिवाइस ड्राइवर के बगैर माउस नहीं चल सकता माय कंप्यू माई कंप्यूटर की प्रॉपर्टीज पे क्लिक करेंगे तो सामने ये स्क्रीन आ जाएगी स्क्रीन के ऊपर ये देखें ये लिखा आ रहा है मैनेजर डिवाइस मैनेजर डिवाइस हमें डिवाइस मैनेजर तक पहुंचना है इसका एक और तरीका ये भी है यहाँ पे कंट्रोल पैनल पे जाके वहाँ पे भी इसका ऑप्शन होता है डिवाइस मैनेजर का जैसे ही हम यहाँ पर क्लिक करते हैं हमारे सामने एक नई विंडो ओपन हो जाती है इसमें हम देखते हैं कि मुख्त डिवाइस ड्राइवर दिखाए गए हैं जितने भी हार्डवेयर इस कंप्यूटर के साथ कनेक्टेड हैं जुड़े हुए हैं हर हार्डवेयर से रिलेटेड एक डिवाइस ड्राइवर मौजूद होता है अगर हम मोनीटर पर क्लिक करते हैं तो इस पर यह लिखा आ रहा है इस पर इसके नीचे ये इसका ऑप्शन लिखा आ रहा है ये इस मोनीटर का डिवाइस ड्राइवर है जो कि इंस्टॉल हो चुका है की बोर्ड पर क्लिक करें तो अब इसका इसका भी डिवाइस ड्राइवर इंस्टॉल हो चुका है जो इसके नीचे लिखा आ रहा है तो इसके अलावा यहाँ येलो निशान नज़र आ रहे हैं आप तो ये येलो निशान का मतलब ये है कि इन डिवाइसेस का इनका डिवाइस ड्राइवर मौजूद नहीं है इसके ड्राइव डिवाइस ड्राइवर इंस्टॉल करना पड़ेगा अक्सर ऐसा होता है कि जब हम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इंस्टॉल करते हैं तो इसके साथ डिवाइस ड्राइवर्स आटोमेटिकली इंस्टॉल हो जाते हैं कभी कभार ऐसा होता है कि डिवाइस ड्राइवर्स हमें अलीहदा से डाउनलोड करने पड़ते हैं अब हम इसकी तीसरी टाइप की तरफ आते हैं लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर कन्वर्ट्स आल यूजर इंस्ट्रक्शंस इनटू मशीन अंडरस्टैंडेबल लैंग्वेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ ह्यूमन मशीन इंस्ट्रक्शंस लैंग्वेजेस आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स मशीन लेवल लैंग्वेज असेंबली लेवल लैंग्वेज एंड हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज मशीन लेवल लैंग्वेज स्ट्रिंग ऑफ जीरोज एंड वंस डेट द मशीन कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट्स मीन डेट बाइनरी लैंग्वेज डेट कंप्यूटर अंडरस्टैंड असम्बली लेवल लैंग्वेज define mnemonics a bit above that we have mnemonics we have small words that will tell the computer what to do instead of zeros and ones high level language using english like statements and is completely independent of machines program written in high level programming languages like java c++ is called source code set of instructions in machine readable form is called object code and machine code system software that converts source code to object code is called language processor what a language processor will do a language processor converts high level language into assembly level language or a machine level language that the computer can understand easily for this processing there are three types of languages assembler interpreter compiler compiler Con- assembler converts assembly level program into machine level program interpreter converts high level programs into machine level program line by line it's mean it converts every line every line compiler converts high level programs into machine level programs at one go rather than line by line utility programs the system programs which performs the general system support and maintenance tasks are known a utility programs utility programs operating system ke andar kuch aise software hote hain jo khaas taur par kisi bhi hardware se related masail ko hal karne ke liye istemal hote hain 
मिसाल के तौर तो पर अगर एक हार्डवेयर है हमारे पास यहाँ पे हार्ड डिस्क हार्ड डिस्क के अंदर अगर कोई मसला आ जाता है या कोई प्रॉब्लम आ जाती है तो इसके लिए हमारे पास कोई ऐसा सॉफ्टवेयर मौजूद है जो कि इसके अंदर मसाइल को हल कर सकता है मिसाल के तौर तो पर अगर हम हार्ड डिस्क के अंदर अपना डाटा हमने हार्ड डिस्क के अंदर अपना डाटा सेव किया हुआ है अगर वो डाटा करप्ट हो जाता है तो हमारे पास एक यूटिलिटी प्रोग्राम है जिसको हम डाटा बैकअप कहते हैं डाटा बैकअप क्या करता है कि जो डाटा करप्ट हो चुका होता है उस हार्ड डिस्क के अंदर उसको फिर से बैक करता है उसको फिर से हासिल करता है उसको रिट्रेस करता है और हार्ड डिस्क के अंदर जो करप्शन आई हुई होती है जो एरर्स आए हुए होते हैं उनको रिमूव करता है इस तरह एक और यूटिलिटी प्रोग्राम आपको कंप्यूटर में मिलेगा जिसको डिस्क क्लिन के नाम से जो होता है डिस्क क्लिन क्या होता है पूरे डिस्क को हार्ड डिस्क को क्लीन करता है इसमें अगर अननेसेसरी फाइल्स हैं उनको वहाँ से निकाल देता है तो इस तरह के छोटे छोटे यूटिलिटी प्रोग्राम्स होते हैं जो मदद फ्राहम करते हैं हार्डवेयर को बेहतर तरीके से मैनेज करने के लिए इनके मसाइल्स को हंड करने के लिए टास्क टास्क परफॉर्म बाय द यूटिलिटी सॉफ्टवेयर डिटेक्टिंग एंड रिमूविंग द कंप्यूटर वायरस डिस्क मैनेजमेंट डिस्क फॉर्मेटिंग डिस्क डी फ्रेगमेंटेशन स्कैनिंग द डिस्क डिस्क पार्टीशनिंग डिस्क क्लीन अप चेंजिंग द फाइल सिस्टम ऑफ हार्ड डिस्क वाई इज सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर यूज सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर कंट्रोल्स ए कंप्यूटर इंटरनल फंक्शनिंग चीफली थ्रो ए ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड आल्सो कंट्रोल एज पेरीफरल एज मोनीटर्स प्रिंटर्स एंड स्टोरेज डिवाइसिस System software includes the program that are dedicated to manage the computer itself, such as operating system, file management utilities, and disk operating system. Some examples can be operating system, antivirus softwares, disk formatting softwares, computer language translators, etc. Advantages of system software. सिम्प्लीफाइड डिसीजन मेकिंग इनक्रीज डिसीजन जो कि सिम्प्लीफाइड डिसीजन मेकिंग का मतलब होता है कि जो कि डिसीजन मेकिंग हमारी जो डिसीजन मेकिंग होती है उसको सिम्प्लीफाई कर देता है उसको मैनेज करता है सही से हमें सब कुछ सही से ईजीली समझ आ जाता है इंक्रीज प्रोडक्टिविटी मोर रिलाईबल डाटा जो हमारे पास डाटा हमारे पास हासिल होता है वह बहुत रिलाईबल होता है इम्प्रूव डाटा सिक्योरिटी बेटर कस्टमर सर्विस इन्हेंस एनालिसिस इंक्रीज सेल्स पोटेंशल functions of operating system control system manage machine resources provide services to programmers or to application software offer written in assembler may run at all time computer is on it's mean that jab bhi computer on hota hai to ye hamesha kaam kar raha hota hai almost always a package one of the development of system software would be prohibitive common handles कॉमन हैंडल सेवरल प्रोसेस एट वंस मतलब कि बहुत से प्रोसेस जो हैं वो एक एक ही टाइम पे वो हैंडल कर हैंडल कर रहा होता है सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर कोऑर्डिनेट्स द एक्टिविटीज एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इट कंट्रोल्स द ऑपरेशंस ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर्स हार्डवेयर कंप्यूटर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर Operating system controls the computer hardware and act as an interface with application programs. Operating system. An operating system is system software that manages computer hardware, software resources, and provides common services for computer programs. ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एक ऐसा सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर है जो कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर रिसोर्सेज को मैनेज करता है और कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम्स को के लिए कॉमन सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करता है एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज ए प्रोग्राम दैट एक्स एज ए इंटरफेस बिटवीन द यूजर एंड द कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर एंड कंट्रोल द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स इट इज द बिगेस्ट पास्ट पार्ट ऑफ सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल कंप्यूटर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दे कैन नॉट ऑपरेट विदाउट वन Some popular operating systems include Linux operating system, Windows operating system, VMS, etc. We are going to discuss about operating system. Let's first see this image here. As you can see, at the center is the hardware, the hardware parts of the computer. Over that, we have the system software, and at the topmost is the application software. 
so actually the computer is organized in the form of layer and the innermost layer is the hardware the hardware devices that which cannot function without our instructions those instructions are given in application software but the system software is needed in between so 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 that it can be act as an interface between hardware devices and the application software operating system is the lifeline of computer computer does not start unless it has an operating system installed in it because operating system keeps all hardware parts in a state of readiness so i if i want to use the printer the operating system will have the printer in the state of readiness it is not that when i give a printer instruction after that the printer will be started and it will be ready to accept my instructions schedules multiple tasks as per priority it coordinates between different devices i as a user will assess only the control unit the control unit where the operating system will coordinate with other devices other output devices or the memory units and while wires which are when those units need to interact with me give me an output give me an error message they will do so through so through the control unit or the language or the operating system now at a given point of time computer is doing multiple tasks let me give an small example which you might have been doing yourself suppose you are reading your project report on the system simultaneously you have opened your email box and then suddenly you see your chat messenger popping up so you might be doing them one by one because when when you are reading your project report you will not be chatting but the computer has to handle all these simultaneously it's the operating system that decides the scheduling of all these tasks when you want to attach your computer to the internet or a lac- local network operating system is what is what that does it operating system is the interface there are there are some of the important functions as we discussed just now just to recap but because they are very important managing computer resources like hardware software shared resources etc allocating resources prevent error during software use control improper use of computer some viruses attacking and it is using all the space so the ways will tell you that yes we have a virus so so you should need to be so you should need to be something you should need to do something about it one of the earliest operating system was ms dos it was introduced by microsoft for i ibm pc ibm was the first company to introduce a pc and the software had the first o- o- operating system which was ms dos it was a comma it was a comma it was a command line interface I am sure most of you have used the computers where you can see icons you can click and the software that you want to open will open but ms dos did not have any icon you just have to type the commands and then that software is open microsoft is difficult to use micro when users started complaining that the the dos yeah dos was difficult to use because they need to remember all the commands so microsoft windows was the first gui based operating system developed in this operating system goes execute user programs and make solving user programs problems easier make the computer system convenient to use use the computer hardware in a efficient manner functions of an operating system memory management processor management device management file management security control over system performance job accounting error detecting ads coordination between other software and users advantages 
operating system provides a usual interface for the users in form of menu icons and buttons operating system allows us to sharing the resources with other users it helps user to understand the function of a computer it is very easy to use it can easily be updated here is the diagram of functions of operating system processor management process management involves various tasks like creation scheduling termination of processes and a deadlock process is a program that is under execution what but which is an important part of modern day operation operating systems in case of processor management operating system performs the activities it keeps the tracks of processor status and processor itself the program which is for, which is responsible for this task is called as traffic controller allocates the processor or cpu to a process delocates the processor or cpu by a process operating system helps in delocating cpu when the processor is no longer required for process execution computer system system gets a bulk of processes for execution which are kept in different queues according to the scheduling algorithms according to conditions processes gets the cpu file management file management is defined as the process of manipulating files in computer system it ma it management includes the process of creating modifying and deleting the files the following are some of the tasks performed by file management of operating system of any computer system it helps to create new files in computer system and placing them at this specific locations file management it helps in easily and quickly locating these files in computer system it makes the process of sharing of the files among different users very easy and user friendly it helps to store the files in separate folders known as directories these directories help users to search file quickly or to manage the files according to their types or uses it helps the user to modify the data of files or to modify the name of the file in the directories the web figure shows the general hierarchy of the storage in an operating system in this figure the root directory is present at the highest level in the hierarchical structure it includes all the subdirectories in which the files are stored subdirectory is the directory present inside another directory in the file storage system the directory based storage system ensures better organization of files in the memory of the computer system device management device management is the operating system employs the management of the io or devices such as keyboard magnetic tape disk printer microphone usb port scanner camcorder etc as well as the supporting units like control channels the basics of io devices can fall into three categories block device it stores information in fixed size block each one with its own address for example disks an operating system or the o or the os manages communication with the devices through their respective drivers the operating system component provides a uniform interface to assess devices of very varied physical attributes for device management in operating system keep tracks of all devices and the program which is responsible to perform this is called io controller monitoring the status of each device such as storage devices drivers printers and other peripheral devices enforcing present policies and taking a decision which process cuts the device when and for how long
allocates and deallocates the device in an efficient way. Deallocating them at two levels. At the process level, when I.O. command has been executed and the device is temporarily released. And at the job level, when the job is finished and the device is permanently released. Secondary storage management. Secondary storage management is also termed as external memory and refers to the various storage media on which a computer can store data and programs. This secondary storage media can be fixed or removable. Fixed storage media is an internal storage medium like hard disk that is fixed inside the computer. Storage medium that are portable and can be taken outside the computer are termed as removable storage media. Main task The main activity that is performed by secondary storage management is disk scheduling. The most important are FCFC scheduling, SSTF scheduling, scan scheduling, and log scheduling. First come, first serve scheduling, FCFS. In the first come, first serve scheduling, the requests are serviced in their coming order. The algorithm is fair as it allows all requests in a chance but it does not provide fastest possible service. Shortest seek time first scheduling SSTF. SSTF stands for shortest seek time first. This algorithm services that request next which requires least number of head movements from its current position regardless of their direction. It breaks the tie in the direction of head movement. Security in operating system. Operating system security is the process of ensuring operating system integrity, confidentiality, and availability. Operating system security refers to specified steps or measures used to protect the operating system from threats viruses, worms, malware, or remote hacker instructions. Operating system security encompasses all preventive control techniques which safeguard any computer assets capable of being stolen, edited, or deleted if operating system security is compromised. Operating system security may be approached in many ways, including adherence to the following. Performing regular operating system patch updates, installing updated antivirus engines and software, scrutinizing all incoming and outgoing, ne outgoing network traffic through a firewall, creating secure accounts with required privileges only, and reader user management. Control over performance in operating system. Operating system will collect usage statistics for various resources and monitor performance parameters such as response time, recording delays between requests for a service and response from this system, monitors overall system health to help improve performance, records the response to have a complete view of the system health. This can help per improve performance by providing, by providing important information needed to troubleshoot problems. Job accounting in operating system. Operating system keeps track of time and resources used by various tasks and users. This information can be used to track so resource usage for a particular user or group of user. Networking. Network Operating System Network Operating System designed to serve the user in large quantities for a variety of purposes and is widely used in large-scale enterprises. Network Operating System is a computer operating system that facilitates to connect and communicate various autonomous computers over a network. The network operating system has the following characteristics. Sports used by more than one user. 
run applications that can be used by more than one user. Stable, which is unlikely to contain any errors in the program. Robustness is a term to indicate the ability of a computer system to handle programs that occur during use by the user. Having a data security level higher than the desktop operating system. Types of networking operating system Peer-to-peer -peer network operating system Peer-to-peer -peer network operating system is designed specially for small to medical type local area networks. In peer-to-peer -peer network operating system, all users can share resources and any type of data on their workstation computer system and these shared resources can be accessed by other computer system. Client-Server Network Operating System Client-Server Network Operating System provides the several functions and applications on the center hub. And this center hub is known as dedicated file server. Multiple users are capable to share equal resources on the network operating system from different locations at the same time. Types of operating system Batch operating system, time sharing operating system, distributed operating system, network operating system, real time operating system. Batch operating system. Batch operating system does not interact with the computer directly. There is an operator which takes similar jobs have, having the same requirement and group them into batches. It is the responsibility of the operator to sort jobs with similar needs. Examples, payroll system and bank system. It's bank statement. Advantages of batch operating system. It is very difficult to guess or know the time required for any job to complete. Processors of the batch systems know how long the job would be when it is in queue. Multiple users can share the batch systems. The idle time for the batch system is very less. It is easy to manage large work repeatedly in batch systems. Disadvantages of batch operating system The computer operators should be well known with batch systems. Batch systems are hard to debug. It is sometimes costly. The other jobs will have to wait for an unknown time if any job fails. Time sharing operating system A time sharing operating system allows many users to share the computer resources simultaneously. Each task is given some time to execute so that all the tasks work smoothly. Each user gets the time of CPU as they use a single system. These systems are known as multitasking systems. Examples are Multisys and Unix. Advantages of Time Sharing Operating System each task gets an equal opportunity. Favor chances of duplication of software. CPU idle time can be reduced. Disadvantages of time sharing operating system. Reliability problem. One must have to take care of the security and integrity of user programs and data. Data communication problem. Distributed operating system. Distributed operating system is a model where distributed applications are running on mul multiple computers linked by connection communications. A distributed operating system is an extension of the network operating system that supports high levels of communication and integration of the machines on the network. Example locus. Advantages of distributed operating system Failure of one will not affect the other network communication as all systems are independent from each other. Electronic mail increases the data exchange speed. Since resources are being shared, com computation is highly fast and durable. Load on host computer reduces.
these systems are easily scalable as many systems can be easily added to the network delay in data processing reduces disadvantages of distributed operating system failure of the main network will stop the entire communication to establish distributed systems the language which is used are not well defined yet these types of systems are not readily available as they are very expensive not only they are that our underlying software is highly complex and not understood well yet network operating system is an operating system that includes special functions for special for special functions for connecting computers and devices into a local area network or internetwork short form of network operating system is nos example microsoft windows server 2003 microsoft windows server 2008 unix linux ms os x novel netware and bsd advantages of network operating system highly stable centralized servers security concerns are handled through servers new technologies and hardware up graduation are easily integrated into this system server access is possibly remote remotely from different locations and types of systems disadvantages of network operating system servers are costly user has to depend on the central location for most operations maintenance and updates are required regularly real time operating system these types of operating systems serve serve real time systems real time systems are used when there are time requirements that are very strict like missile systems air traffic control systems bots etc The time interval required to process and respond to inputs is very small. This time travel is called response time. Example: scientific experiments, medical Im- imaging systems, industrial control systems, weapon systems. Types of t- real-time operating system. hard real time systems the, these operating systems are meant for applications where time constraints are very strict and even the shortest possible delay is not acceptable soft real time system these operating systems are for applications where for time constraint is less strict advantages of real time operating system these types of op systems are error free memory allocation is best managed in these types of systems the time assigned for shifting tasks in these systems are very less disadvantages of real time operating system very few tasks run at the same time and their concentration is very less on few applications to avoid errors Sometimes the system resources are not so good and they are expensive as well. The al- al- the algorithms are very complex and difficult for the designer to write on. Thank you.